Hello once again YouTube, Duke Nukem2417 here with part 7 of DN2417 Place Sigil. E5M9, the Realm of Iblis, the secret level. And this is usually the part of the video where I'd say, I haven't played this level at all before, so I look forward to seeing what challenges it holds. That would be an absolute lie. Because I have been playing this level very frequently over the past few days. Mostly while I've been recuperating, if you will, from a thumb injury, which I mentioned in the ending of part 6 of DN2417 Plays Doom, subtitled Mia Maxima Copa. At the end of that video, I mentioned that I had injured my thumb while cleaning it, or not cleaning the thumb, cleaning a knife with a paper towel. Said knife was, in fact, a ceramic paring knife. And as it turns out, cleaning a ceramic blade with a paper towel is a really stupid friggin' idea because the blade went through my thumb and the paper, well, it went through the paper towel first, then the skin of the pad of my left thumb. A lot of nerve endings got hit, possibly a few severed, and it was really freaking painful, and the wound wouldn't close properly without a suture to keep the two flaps of skin together. So, yeah. The last few days have not been uneventful, and they have also not been fun for me, personally. But anyway, enough about that. This is Sigil, not the story of my thumb. So, yeah. And of course, right when I go run to that elevator, the stupid demon gets in my way. Idiot. Okay, let's see if I can get through there. Okay. Good, great, excellent, wonderful. Got the red key. I can open this door. And those pistons are a real nuisance in this level, because if you're standing in one place and doing something else and not paying attention, like, for instance, talking while recording yourself playing the game, then you have a tendency to get stuck under these pistons and squished, which is really friggin' stupid. So yeah, gotta keep an eye on those pistons throughout this level. And in order to get to the next part of this level, I do need to do this. Spectre. Right there. I was gonna do the whole thing where I act surprised at all the stuff I encounter, but I've played through this level enough, I know where everything is. I don't need to act surprised. What I do need to do is shoot all these imps on these castle walls. Where the distant harbor meets the sky. And the battle raged like hell, and every dove had lost its will to fly. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it's a song reference. And if you get if you get the lyrics that I'm referencing, great. If not, just remember it's a grand illusion. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay, there were some flying demonic tomatoes over here that I need to puree with a chainsaw. There's one of them right now. Voila! Instant flying demonic puree. And there was another one over here. Yep, there it is. Okay, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Get a little bit closer and boom. Okay, and you are dead. Now to take care of those last two imps up there. Believe me, they're not the worst thing that's up there on that castle. Or in that castle, for that matter. Don't know what I'm talking about? Don't worry, you will. Anyway, I need to stop saying anyway. Shotgun ammo over here. I took damage from that little bit of time that I was on the lava. That's stupid. Thankfully, there's a Berserk Pack that I need to grab to get my health back up to 100, and then just run away from these idiots, because I have a blue key skull, I have a radiation suit, switch to the plasma rifle. You know, I'm actually going to save right here. I have multiple save files for this level anyway. And there's a Cyber Demon! Right there. Waste these two idiots. Run over here, flip this switch. Yeah, I know I'm cheating by loading an autosave in the course of making this video. I don't care. There's a freaking cyber demon in the middle of this castle, and I am not gonna just stop the video dead in its tracks and just start over from the beginning just because I got splattered by a cyber demon with a freaking rocket. I did admit that I wanted some challenges in the last few videos of this series, so. Putting a cyber demon in the middle of a crowded little castle, that's challenging. I will admit that. Just not the kind of challenge I was expecting. I was expecting, you know, a cyber demon in the last level of Sigil. Not just. And there's the friggin' Kago demon. As if things weren't already bad enough. But anyway, let's just go flip the switch, go up to the lift, ignoring the Kago demon. Okay, the Kago demon's dead. Run oh crud. Please tell me there are steps there. Please tell me there are the steps there. There are not the steps there. 
I just botched it. I just botched it. Nope, I didn't botch it, because I can... Oh, crap. No, I botched it. Okay. Now I'm down to 12 health. Now I'm down to no health. Uh, this is so stupid. I didn't go back and get that uh, soul sphere, either. And I'm dead again. What I might do is, if I get killed by the cyber demon again, I might just stop recording and then get to the part where I was trying to get a few seconds ago and then continue from there because this cyber demon is a complete and total pain. Screw it, just get the radiation suit. And that triggers the walkway to the yellow door. Flip the switch, go onto the lift. Try not to get the cyber demon's attention. Okay, run over here to the yellow door, which is what I was trying to do in the first place. Those two panels in that area will lower. Press this one to lower the wall, blocking the yellow key, and then press this one to raise some steps to get to the yellow key. Which we're going to do right now. Yay. That was so difficult. Okay. Ignore the Keiko Demon. Go in here. Thankfully there's health all over the place in here. Except then these walls lowered to reveal imps. Now the stupid Keiko Demon decided to fly in. Just to harass me. Great. Wonderful. Just a barf plasma into my face. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. Anyway, uh, this is pretty much almost the end of the level. And now there are a lot more enemies than I was expecting, so, oh great, oh great, okay. Um, I need to find a spot where I can just stand still and save, so there are Keiko, you know what, screw it. Keep plasmatic death, you freaks. There we go, oh great, 21 health. No! Health thing over there. Go get it and then kill the Keiko Demon. Come on. Okay. Save. Flip that switch. And there's another Keiko Demon and a Baron of Hell. Just to spice things up a little bit. Grab that health. And... On to the Nightmare Underworld. And I haven't even scratched the 10 minute mark yet. Of course, the whole point of this level was... Or this video, I should say, was to get through... The secret level, the Realm of Iblis, which I just did. So, I think this was actually the most successful take of this particular video that I've done. And with that, I'm going to call it a video. Thank you all so very much for watching, for liking, subscribing, commenting, and generally supporting my channel. And as always, stay, wait, hang on, I gotta kill the specter in this dark stone cave here. Uh, uh, there we go. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching, for liking, commenting, subscribing. And as always, stay tuned for more.